This is the wood fire, where we cook things. This is the garden, where plants grow. This is the Argentinian barbecue, where we cook meat. This is the bar, where people drink drinks. This is the bathroom, where people... And this is my wood roasted cauliflower salad. Eat it. It's good to be back to my second home. We've been on the road for a while now, but we're back in my restaurant. The menu's based around two things. That wood oven there and the two and a half metre RG grill outside. So I wanted to show you a couple of recipes that, that basically shows those two things off. So now I'm going to show you a little vegetarian number with the roasted cauliflower salad. We're going to bang it in the wood oven until it's nice and black and charred. Then we're going to serve that with some pickled grapes, some roasted hazelnuts, some eschalots and parsley, and that's it. The first thing that we're going to do is take off these outer leaves. And then from there, just a little trick at home, just take that edge off with a knife, and that's just going to ensure that it sits nice and flat in our tray. Now, we're just going to go on with a good lug of extra virgin olive oil and go hard with this, because this is going to cook for about 45 minutes. And then again, a good crack of some sea salt. It looks like a lot, but trust me, once we break it down, you won't even notice. And then we're going to throw him right at the back and get as close to that fire as we possibly can. You might think that's a little simple, but all the action and all the flavour is happening now with that wood fire. So obviously, everyone at home doesn't have a wood oven. There's two things you can do. 220 degrees for about an hour into your regular home oven, or just come here. Now eat it. It's on the menu. It's not actually not on the menu anymore, but anyway. But uh, we're rocking the pickled grapes. So something that once you do, and once you do it well, you won't stop, because they're super tasty. We've got some red grapes here. These guys are seedless. We're just going to pick them off a stem. Are these seedless? I hope so. Oh, 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 baby! Right, we've got our grapes. Come with me. What I've got here is a pan that is as hot as you can possibly get it. I've got red wine vinegar. Grapes are pickled, so we just take them off. We're just going to give them a good season with salt, just a bit of olive oil over the top. And these guys can sit in a jar for weeks, and they get better, and they get better, and they get better and better the longer you leave them. Hazelnuts, we're just going to take the skins off them. 160 degree oven, we're going to go in for about seven minutes, give them a jiggle, and then seven minutes again. Roasted hazelnuts. This is what we got here. So they've got that nice golden colour on them. So to get the skins off, enter a tea towel, one of your nan's favourites. Throw them all in the guts, bring all four of our corners together, and then just give it a little rub. Play your rub in your tummy like a weirdo. Do it while they're hot and the skins come off a lot easier. Hazelnut, skin. A collie have been in there for about 40, 45 minutes. Let's have a crack. <laughs> they're not burnt. That's adding flavour. And then once we break it down again, that's going to reveal all that beautiful white cauliflower flesh inside. Let them cool for about 10 minutes before you go tackling these guys. I'm going to show you how to make bulk dressing because dressings last forever and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do a lot of it. Here I've got my blender. You guys have probably got one at home. If you're not, just get a massive jar. So continuing on that theme, that flavour profile from the grapes, we're going in with 250 mils of red wine vinegar. A solid scoop of Dijon mustard, maybe about a tablespoon and a half. That's going to emulsify it together. Good pinch of salt, crack of pepper, and then we can get it whizzing up. I've got 250 mils of red wine vinegar. I'm going to put 500 mils of canola oil in. And we just start to slowly emulsify it into our blender. If you threw all this in at one time, it'd just split and you wouldn't get that right consistency. Tip at home. If it does split, add a tablespoon of warm water. And it'll bring it back together. Don't say I don't teach you anything. Then when she's finished off, I'm just going to put about two tablespoons of honey in there. You normally do this at the start, but I forgot. Bulk dressing, right there. So you got 750 mils or thereabouts of dressing that will last in your fridge for a long, long time. How long is a long time? A long, long time. A long time. Mm. Right, uh, collie time. We're just going to cut it into florets. So just go around that core. Peel our florets off a stem. Just look at that. You know that's going to be tasty right there. Got all that wood oven flavour on the top and that perfectly cooked cauliflower. Let's get a bowl, throw our collie in. Still nice and warm, charred on the outside, moist on the inside. Got in with a couple of these pickled grapes. Our hazelnuts, we just want to run our knife through them once, so they're not full nuts. Crack your nuts. That is so funny. 
So a good handful of our hazelnuts. Echelots. Now, I'm in my kitchen, so I'm using my equipment. If you don't have a mandolin, just do it with a knife. So I just want it really, really fine. Fresh echelot. Fresh Straight in. I'm going to pick some parsley. We're going in with our dressing. Salt, pepper, and then we'll give this a good mix. Ready to play it up, Timmy? Mate, is that what do you do? Do you just pour it in the bowl? Uh, it's a little bit more sophisticated than <laughs> that. We're going to finish it off with a bit of sumac, a really acidic spice, and that just gives it a nice bit of flavour, but the colour contrast is off the Richter. Really confident. I'm not taking photos of myself, I'm taking photos of food.